Being an asshole in Brisbane Town is now considered to be something worth funding. I don't get it, friends. Now, before you judge me and such, just hear me out. Billy G. Jack, your friends, protecting your freedoms. I'm coming at you live from the heights of my residential tower here in Brisbane Town. Looking down at your fine folks scurrying around in your beds and britches. Doing the good thing now. There is a story on the internet. And uh, y'all can Google it. Just go to www.gogle.com. And it is called The Bus Knot, K-N-I-G-H-T. And it is a story about a bus here in Brooklyn Town. And one day, a fellow gets on the bus, and he ain't got no money for the ride ticket. And what I understand is folks on the bus don't like this very much, the bus driver particularly, and uh, persuade him to get off the bus for a fight and uh, after much arguing and uh, leave him there, shut the doors, and blast off to the next bus stop. Which event is accompanied by hollers and cheers from all the fine folks on the bus. And what's more, this event is being celebrated here in Brisbane Town. Because you all know, we're so polite and such. And now, it is being made into a film. This is a disturbing trend, friends. I do not understand why folks are so mean to other folks calling folks, and I'm sorry friends, but this is a language that was used, shit skull. Giving people the word through the windows of the bus and whatnot. I know, I know, the fellow involved used bad words himself. And let's face it, he wasn't prepared to take the bus that day if he didn't have the right money for the right fare. But is Brisbane Town already famous for its traffic jams being a never-ending mass of ghetto suburbs having a CBD built in a flood-prone uh, pinched up almost an island surrounded on three points of compass by water and uh, being a place that uh, a lot of folks are saying, and I think it's cruel, but they're saying that we are a nice place to die. Already famous for this, are we going to be famous for being a city of assholes where a whole busload of folks, fine folks like yourself, getting to work in your fancy britches, could not even reach out to a fellow human being of your own city? and say, listen friend, you all seem like you're having a tough time today. Here's your fare for you. Fifty cents from me, fifty cents from him and her and him and her. Put it all together. Here's your ticket. And I hope you're prepared next time. Reach it out to a fellow human being. Be a nice to your fellow man. So that Folks don't get all uppity and upset and start cursing. So folks realize there is a community and not just a series of folks all fighting each other as they get in from their ghetto suburbs to the fine CBD every day. Friends, are we going to be famous for being a city of assholes? Or are we going to be famous for being a city of fine folks who do the right thing by their fellow man and reach out and lend a helping hand? I hope it is the latter, and I certainly don't hope it is the former. I don't know, after this event and the reaction to it, 
especially from these folks who seem to be hollering about this as some monumental event in our history. And I know a lot of these folks are not just from Brisbane town. I hope that after all of this, we ain't known as being a city of A-grade assholes. But I have my doubts, friends. Because you all know that let, in a better world and on another day, fine folks like yourself would have had no trouble at all reaching out and helping the man so he didn't get all of it up and upset like a jumped up rabbit. But that's not what happened. And now it's being celebrated. And folks are making a movie about it. And it makes Billy J. Jack sad, Prince. Why can't people be nice to other people? This is a terrible day for Brisbane Town. God bless the fine folks of Brisbane Town. And God bless Billy J. Jack. Bye for now.